All right, starting off tonight, we've got uh, the Rona McDaniel uh, issue that's going on right now. For those of you that don't know, Rona McDaniel was the recently resigned and departed RNC chair. Uh, so you've got a, a heavy hitter from the Republican National Convention uh, from the party. And, uh, you know, she was truthfully uh, liked and respected by a lot of people. Uh, most folks were not happy when she departed, uh, but she moved on to, you know, to greener pastures, if that's what you want to call it. And uh, one of the first places she got uh, she got hired by was NBC, NBC Studios. And she was going to be their probably overreaching conservative pundit. Uh, they don't have many, if any at all. Uh, so I have a feeling she was going to do a lot of duty across really probably multiple shows. Um, that was announced uh, five days ago. Um, and today she has been fired. She's been, she's been, hasn't even been on the area, uh, has, but has been fired. Um, and it's due to specific, there was a lot of backlash, uh, some of it from NBC viewers, uh, but a lot of it from NBC uh, personalities and staff. Um, so this is, this is journalism today. Uh, and the two big names that come up when you hear about her firing and about the backlash of her hiring which in turn led to her firing, um, are Rachel Maddow uh, and Joe Scarborough from Morning Joe on MSNBC. So these, these are not people that Rona McDaniel was going to directly compete with. There was going to be no loss to them, them or their ratings. Um, they just didn't want her on the network because she's a conservative. That That's it. That's the whole premise. So... They want the echo chamber to continue. Um, they don't want any opposing viewpoints. They certainly don't want any opposing viewpoints with any kind of educated voice uh, and and anybody with any sort of, um, you know, um, I guess, reputation or, or, you know, at least someone who has an earned reputation or respected reputation. Uh, to counter anything, any of the messaging that that they want brought across on their shows, right? So you've got Rachel Maddow, um, who truthfully is, you could probably throw journalism uh, out the window and just call it sensationalism because that's all she does. Um, if you go back and watch her, especially during COVID, you know, she was one of the, the you know, beat the drum, fear Nick, um, keep everybody in their houses, um, she, she, all of the messaging that every, all, all of the scared, everybody who was, you know, um, trying to put the fear mongering out in the world. She was, she was front of the front of the crowd, top of the list. She was definitely on board with all of it. Definitely the, the, the deliverer of all of those messages. Um, I, I just zero journalism credibility, uh, for me because that's not what she does. Um, she is definitely bought and paid for. Uh, she's liberal. The party, whatever the party needs, whatever the message is from the current, you know, liberal world, that's what she's offering. That's what she's pushing forward. Joe Scarborough is the same way. Uh, Morning Joe, you know, is is pure echo chamber. That's all it is. Uh, and, it, and it is just another show to bring the message across of, you know, hey, this is what the president, this is what the administration, this is what the party wants you to know. This is what they want you to hear. This is what they want you to believe. So this is the message we are going to deliver. Now, I know there were others. I know there were others at NBC, MSNBC, all the affiliates. Um, I know that there was some backlash from viewers. I get it. You know, but NBC does have an obligation as a new source, trying to be a legitimate source of non-biased, non-partisan, quality news to offer, you know, a differing viewpoint. And that's what Rona McDaniel was hired for. Former RNC chair, right? Who better to offer a conservative counter viewpoint to uh, on any of these shows, on any of their normal viewing? Um, why wouldn't you have Rona McDaniel in your bullpen? Well, because she offers an opposing viewpoint and that's not what they want. That's not modern you know, journalism. I, I use that term very, very loosely, right? Um, they're nothing more than pundits. 
they're they're the listen. I'm not a journalist. I <laughs> Elsa's not a journalist. We're pundits, right? We this is what we do. We offer our opinion. We offer a, our viewpoint. We offer a differing viewpoint. Okay. Um, MSNBC, NBC, when you talk about news and delivering news and news networks, it's not supposed to be punditry. Um, and and those that are pundits and readily acknowledge that they're pundits, fine. You can have that on those networks and, and even have dedicated shows on those networks. But you can't call yourself a journalist and then absolutely put the hammer down on, on an opposing viewpoint to make sure it doesn't even get exposed on the same network as you, probably not even on your show. So Rachel Maddow, uh, if she had any respect for herself as a journalist at all, uh, never would have opened her mouth about this. If she had any uh, belief in her own ability as a journalist to deliver a message that she believes in, something that she believes to be true and factual and that is defensible, not only would she have not pushed to have Rona McDaniel off the network, uh, she would have invited her on her show. She would have brought her on and went point counterpoint. If she was smart, if she was smart, uh, Rachel Maddow, oh, 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 by the way, if she was smart and she had the ability, clearly doesn't, um, she would have made it a weekly segment. If she had any brains whatsoever, she would have dedicated a 10 minute tete a tete, you know, with Rona McDaniel. Pick a topic every week, 10 minutes. Two of them go at it. They spend 10 minutes yelling at each other. Rona McDaniel walks away. Rachel Maddow's got the other 50 minutes. Like, that's free money. That's free viewership every week. You're drawing in conservative viewers. Even for a, a 10 minute argument every week. But she doesn't have the ability. She doesn't have the faith in her own capability. Um, and so what she wanted was Ron McDaniel gone. Not just not on her show, not on the same network umbrella. I mean, she's on MSNBC. Rona McDaniel, I think, was going to be more, you know, nightly news or, you know, mainstream media, NBC, Peacock, you know, big channel kind of stuff. Maybe not. Maybe she bumped into MSNBC on occasion, but Maddow didn't even want her to do that. Didn't want her around. Neither did Joe Scarborough. Because they can't manage it. Uh, they're not quality journalists. They gave up on journalism a long time ago. Truthfully, they they take whatever's handed to them, you know, the the, the script that's put in front of them, um, and you know, I won't say they're Ron Burgundy, but it's pretty damn close. Uh, you know, they they don't, you know, they try and offer a viewpoint, um, and they try and offer a, themselves as a news source, but you know, the news that they're delivering is not non-biased. It's very very biased. Uh, and you know, Rachel Maddow is as much a pundit as she is anything else. And again, if that's who you're going to be, then be that person, be a pundit. And oh, by the way, if you're a pundit, you can always bring people on too, to, to offer an, oppo an opposing viewpoint. Um, you know, there's a difference between someone who offers opposing viewpoints because I get them too on social media. Uh, I, I get them, you know, I'll post something. Um, somebody on offer an opposing viewpoint. Um, and I, and I truthfully, I have, there's been a handful of people actually who are per personal friends of mine over the years that I have literally, um, cut away and blocked. And it's not because I don't value their opinion. It's the way that they deliver their opinion and, and the way that they don't, uh, provide any new content. All they do is sit around and wait for me to post something and then offer a counterpoint. Um, nothing original, nothing. They're just there to argue. That's not productive. Um, but that's not, you know, Rona McDaniel was there to offer an educated, informed counter opinion to 99% of what's going on on NBC and MSNBC. That's what they hired her for. But their big names didn't like it. So they fired her. Five days. Five days. They, she didn't, I don't even think she got on the air. I mean, that's really, really shameful that they are that bothered by an opposing viewpoint or that afraid of an opposing viewpoint or that afraid of having to defend their own position 
that they know against somebody who's a pretty, pretty friggin' smart lady, um, they may not be able to do. So what was their recourse? Get, get rid of her. Fire her. If you don't fire her, I'm leaving. That was the threat from the big names. Get rid of her. We don't want her here. You'll, if you don't get rid of her, it's, it's me or her. You know, they're paying Rachel, Rachel Maddow a lot of money, a lot of money. And I'm sure there's a nice golden parachute separation clause in her contract. If I remember right, she took like a year off. And there was a whole bunch of failed attempts to fill her time slot um, because it was cheaper to just let her take the year off um, and fail uh, than it was to get rid of her and bring somebody else in. So, you know, bad negotiation by NBC. They gave her all this power, and now, you know, what do you expect? She's going to use it. But she doesn't like it. She doesn't like Rona McDaniel. She doesn't like having her around. She doesn't like that opposing, educated, informed viewpoint. So fire her. I don't like her. Get rid of her. Right? It's very, very, you know, sixth grade gym class. Um, you know, that mean girl over there. Get rid of her. Let's start a rumor. Let's make her look bad. Whatever it is, it's very childish. Definitely not professional, and it sure as shit is not journalism. Uh, good journalists can can you know hold their own in an arena with somebody else with an opposing viewpoint. Rona McDaniel was supposed to be that an opposing viewpoint, and instead of going toe to toe with her, Joe Scarborough or Rachel Maddow, their solution was get rid of her. Just get rid of her. I don't even want to deal with her. Don't want to see her. Don't want to hear. Her. Get rid of her. So that's where that's where our media is at, folks. And and you wonder why that's the most blatant display of one sided single party, you know, um, lack of uh, fair and balanced journalism I've seen in a long time. And, and listen, all the networks are guilty of it. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, all, all of them. OK, Fox is not immune either. I know we've got probably a pretty heavy Fox base of listeners and viewers. But the reality is, is Fox shows their side, too. Um, but every one of those networks, there's very few, we've talked about this before, very few um, quality journalists out there. But this is blatant. This is this is pretty, this is the most blatant thing I've seen in a while. Um, and, and, you know, NBC caved. They did. Weak sauce. Just caved and let it go. They fired her. I, I hope Rona McDaniel gets a huge settlement out of this. Huge settlement. Um, and, and I hope an, another one of the liberal networks turns around and picks her up. Um, I, whoever, CNN headline news, ABC, whatever, I don't care. Um, I think it'd be hilarious, uh, if she got both the money and another gig, which I'm sure she probably will. Um, if NBC saw enough in her to offer a contract in the first place, somebody else will see the same. So good luck to her. Uh, I hope she, I hope she comes out of this. Well, I'm sure she will. Uh, shame on Rachel Maddow and Joe Scarborough at very weak. You, you, you should, you, you, as journalists, you really need to take a good solid look in the mirror and decide who you are and what you're going to be because journalism ain't it. Uh, not if you're afraid of this. So we'll see what happens, uh, with Rona, we'll see where she ends up. We'll see if NBC makes a, another failed effort to bring on a, even a semi, uh, conservative voice. And, uh, we'll see what the reaction is if they try that. That mess again, as long as, you know, Rachel Maddow um, and, uh, and, and Joe Scarborough around and they have the voice they have. So we'll see what happens.